from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Tuesday morning. We're starting our day off right where we should for this time of year, but we do have a few areas of maybe some light sprinkles across southern portions of our area. As we take a look at radar, you can see those down near La Mesa and extreme eastern Gaines County. We have a little bit of green there, maybe a few of those raindrops making it to the surface, but really not expecting much out of them or really anywhere across the South Plains this morning. However, along the Gulf Coast, notice we still have Hurricane Sally basically stationary, moving to the west northwest at two miles per hour. What that's doing is it's allowing Sally to turn up some of the water underneath it. And that's actually allowing it to cool, and that's why Sally has dropped down to a category one storm this morning, and it's also dealing with a little bit of dry air, but but again, that upwelling, as we call it, is having a little bit of an impact on that. But Sally is expected to continue to move on off to the north later on today, making landfall early Wednesday morning as a Category 1 storm somewhere near the Mississippi and Alabama state line, bringing a lot of flooding rain and storm surge to those areas. So definitely going to keep those uh, people in our thoughts and prayers. But back here in the South Plains, a calm start to our day. You could see the waning crescent moon a few moments ago. Uh, that means that moon is getting closer to a full moon moon by the end of the week and we'll continue to see those clouds like we're seeing on our sky view this morning across the area today. So partly cloudy sky hanging around, maybe a few more showers on off into the rolling plains later on this afternoon, but really not expecting much in the way of rainfall today. However, we will see a little bit more sun this afternoon than what we saw yesterday. That will allow our temperatures to be a little bit warmer, getting up to a high around 83 by this afternoon or under a partly cloudy sky. Those winds out of the southeast around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now, as we go into tomorrow evening, that's when we could see another cold front start to work its way into our area. But ahead of that front, we could see a few more showers, maybe a rumble of thunder uh, develop during the evening hours on Wednesday. But then Thursday night, things begin to calm down as that cold front moves into our area. And it'll cool us off a few degrees by Thursday. So as we take a look at Wednesday, what we're going to see a little bit of a trough axis setting up here that will stick with us as we head into your weekend. So what that means is that it's going to allow us to stay a little cooler. 88 degrees by Wednesday. That's above average the white bar you see there. But then notice Thursday, Friday and Saturday below average with those high temperatures back down into the lower 80s. A few upper 70s definitely not out of the question. And then as we take a look at rainfall, really not looking like much. If you're lucky, maybe up to a tenth of an inch of rainfall to the south of Highway 82 uh, across the South Plain. So again, rainfall is not going to be the big story this week. The main story is going to be those temperatures remaining slightly below average. We'll be close to 90 though by Wednesday, but then Kathleen, as we head into the weekend, looks like the lower 80s are remaining possible before we get back into the middle and upper 80s next week. So it seems like you could just take the week off because I can copy and paste that forecast for you right there. Hey, I will take you up on that for sure. <laughs> no, we need you too bad. The second I take over, something crazy will happen.